男が来ました武装しているようですもちろんですわかりました God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind. Kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now. I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul, even slightly interested in the matter, believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm-hmm. He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Meaning? Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. 
Go on. Talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Sounds like you want to avenge dead old dad. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro gojitaku ni omodori itaraite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? Yeah, yeah, it's just dumb. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. <coughs> I warned you. What? What are you doing? Shit, we could be hours from it now, V. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. But he listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. You want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo-endotrizine. Scooch and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Makoshi. Yeah? How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help. That's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she'd have stuck her neck out for you half a century ago, but now... I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Makoshi. It's our only chance. Rogue, I don't know. You honestly think it could work? With her experience, her resources, her connections. Won't find anyone better in NC. Johnny. It's gotta work. We breach the tower. All cracks open Makoshi. Then I fuck uh. up that. Great, you checking out again? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic? You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... how'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. Gave Misty a hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamant was your guardian angel. Huh? I, uh... wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Give it 
to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up, carefully. I'll try. I think I'm getting some feeling back. Ah! Slowly. Ah, another victory for the history books. Hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up all right. But I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah, what about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo-endotrys in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. <sighs> or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present from me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... gotta think about it. Need, Need to stretch, stretch your, your noodle? noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Oh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey, V, I heard. Well. Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm hmm Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself.
Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what... What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know. Gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, I'm still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That what you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way. Just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. No, not really my style. Goodbyes. You do you. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think. It all started in a fucking landfill. Mm-hmm. Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Kinda of tough deciding which of your friends get to die, isn't it? Good news is you got this one Chum who's already dead. And he'd be honored to join you on a wild suicide run. You, me, and Arasaka Tower. Kinda of sounds like a Eurydine lyric, I know, but trust me, we'll go fucking Nova. This plan, what would it entail, exactly? Plan? Well, might be how Rogue operates. I say you grab the hottest iron you can find, stride in the tower's front door, and cut your own path down to the lower levels. If Makoshi's deep underground like Hanako claims it is, you'll just have to find the elevator. If I gotta die, I'd rather fall into my grave, gun in hand and on fire, and not drag anyone down with me. Huh. You just discovered what it takes to become a legend. Grab your eye. Let's mobilize. Welcome to Arasaka Tower. Time to party Weapons like it's 2023. Are not allowed on the premises. This is a goddamn extreme! <laughs> Careful. This is their house. Got a game plan all polished and rehearsed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guardian's an access token. Need to find a guard with some chops. Status. He'll have our access token. Get out token. of life! Watch it. So far, so good. Someone there? Got it. Open it fire. Starting to think this plan wasn't batshit crazy after all. Oh. Run operations control. Sounds like a good place to run a mega facility from. We plug in your output there, see how she settles in. I'd expect a very warm welcome down below if I were you. Good. If we're going out, it better be with fucking fireworks. Gonna be an ambush, no doubt. Just focus. You're better than them. Motherfucker's got no love for foreplay. Brace yourself. Thank you. Shit! Not good. Not good! Enemy contact! Sure looks like the tower's mainframe to me. Guess we just see what happens when we jack all in. Get me locked out! Oh. <laughs> I have to get out! Shit. Oh. 
Not exactly seeing any slots. Mainframe's under the floor, most likely. Need to find a way to eject it. Nah, like a goddamn adventure game. Turb, think you can use it? We'll find out. Damn, could really use you right now, Spider. This what we're looking for? Okay, and? That's the slot. Let's make alt at home. Sure hope your X output performs as advertised. Look on my works, ye mighty, in despair! Security system overridden. I am in control. Section personnel neutralized. The path to Mikoshi lies open. Come on, let's go! Arasaka Netrunners have stormed the tower's systems. Stopping their advance is my priority. Continue on your way alone. I'll clear the path, but you must hurry. An elite security unit is following you. You here? What's with the door? Don't strain yourself now. Johnny Silverhand sends his regards. Are you 
fucking with me now? He's got a point, T. Shut up and finish him. Be done with it. Took down Johnny's arch enemy. Gotten good, I guess. Damn, it feels nice. We saw this place in a dream. Find the access point in the center of the room. You must connect to it. Then submerse yourself in coolant. I will be waiting. Come on, not much further to go. on the other side. Let us go then, you and I, when the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shells. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. I did it, Johnny. Despite it all, somehow, I did it. Devised a solid plan and pulled it off. That's you. Well done. I'm sorry. Not sure I quite caught that. 
Then wash out your ears, dumbass. Is this it? The infamous prison of souls? Not how I remember it. But Alt wasn't running the show back then. So, where are all of Soul Killer's victims? Fuck if I know. We only see what Alt wants us to see. So, when do we start? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Too bad. Johnny could've used someone like you by his side. Strong words from a fellow construct stuck in the same Arasaka prison. Wait, what? You mean to say I'm an engram? Uh-huh. Same as me. Got any more jokes? So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Fuck. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body! The biochips nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. I can't... I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. It was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. A happier ending. For everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned. Through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Oh. If you were me, what would you do? You should come with me. What's that mean for me exactly? Am I gonna... become like you? As a netrunner, you will find your way through a materially limitless world. Beyond the Black Wall dangers lurk. That is no sanctuary. But it's better to be a free spirit shredded than to wither, trapped in a dying body. Don't do it, V. You've been running from this all along. It'll change you. You won't be you anymore. And you? Already took that first step a while back. I'll have an easier go of it. What I told you at the Pista Sophia. We stick to that. I'll go. You stay. Turn in your back on the problem again?
what? A little guilt creeps in and that's that? You give up? Stop. Just Gonna just roll stop. over instead of fighting for what's yours? Decommission yourself because you're too fucking scared to say goodbye? It's my decision. Let me make it. You're loyal, I'll grant you that. But damn it, are you dense? Haven't changed a bit since we met. I'm so damn tired, Johnny. I just want to start anew. Even if I don't know what that means. It better be good for you, too. V, I'm just... I'm just scared for you. Really think anyone gives a rat's dick how you look? everything. Shit, got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you, V. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Not much, but I'm alright with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Who is it? What do you want? It's Richard Knight. I, I built, built this fucking city. Open, open up. up. Hey! Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Cause I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um... Old man. Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, guess I kinda deserved it. You forgot it happens. No reason to hit you. Hmm. 
What about you? What's up? Need wheels and a good driver for the day. Couple of things in town I gotta take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh. Don't worry. Play long enough and you'll get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now! I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? Oh, fuck's sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit! What the fuck you want? Hey, Get relax. Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours. Tops, chill. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does. Not you. He won't come back empty-handed. Two hours. And you hand me those eddies as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp? All look the same to me. Probably a yapper. Don't have to pay me, you know. I know, but dear Dad's gonna want those eds. Sure he is, but I know how to cobble some together myself. Hop in. Better whip that boy in line. Where are you gonna get the scratch? Promise you won't tell? Merc's honor. Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just wants someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, riding that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains, especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been, in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice, like anything else worth doing. The sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Preem. Lyrics don't come easy though. I come up with anything, seems like it's already been done or it just sounds stupid. Kind of don't really know what to write about. Write for the people, that's most important. You mean, for the masses? No, not really. Don't write to be liked. Write to be understood by everyone. Keep it simple. Should never be too heady. You can't write just for yourself. Why not? Because the music's not really for you, is it? It's your gift to others. We have arrived. Cream. Hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. What can I do for you? Heard Carrie Uridine pops by once in a while. <laughs> Best music Probably story in Night new, City. But we'll see. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but got a feeling I'm about to find out. 
I don't snoop on customers, don't keep no records, and I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six string, electric. Feast your eyes. I want something solid and true. What, and they're not? No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. How's this? Whoa! To the right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Want to try this one? Be my guest. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. Practice every day and you'll play like that. Maybe better. You can learn anything, I promise. Uh, I don't know. I can learn a few riffs by heart, but it'll only ever be performing, never next gen. Good point. That's why it's better to invent your own jam. That's what practice is for. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you learn who you really are. What you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Gotta be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. You're alright, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. And? I'll take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No yes. thanks. Here you go. See ya. What's, What's Delta? Delta? Still got some biz to take care of. All right.
Let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. That was perilous future for you this fine afternoon. And speaking of perilous times, this just in. Arasaka Corp has broken off negotiations with rival Militech. That's right, boys and girls. We have it from anonymous sources that Yorinobu Arasaka said today, and I quote, all possible peaceful means of resolving the conflict have been exhausted. Now, if you've been tuning in on the regular, and I'm sure you have, you're sure to remember that small crew of dare demons who blasted their way through Arasaka Tower a few months back? Oh, it was just like back in Silverhand's day. Arasaka got hit financially on that. Yes, it did. Still, that was nothing compared to the PR lambasting Secure Your Soul took. Me to turn that program into a scandal smorgasbord. You remember all that now, don't you? Oh, Corp faced some nasty accusations. Psyche abduction, torture of human engrams. Most tasteless of all, though? Plain God. Ugh. So what do we make of this tussle with Militech that could always turn hot? Experts are calling it a smokescreen to take the edge off Arasaka's true troubles. How do you like that? Think the Japanese Kyojin can survive this bout? My dad says there's gonna be another Corp War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Won't be another war, don't worry. Arasaka is a lot weaker than they let on. I hate the corpse. Me too. They squeeze you till your eyeballs pop, but it's never enough. They gotta rip each other's spines out too. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. You know what, you're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers. Just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Just a keepsake. Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? No, wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Thanks for... Huh. Well, for everything. I'm wiser now. And I don't plan to waste it. So this is goodbye.
Cuidado! Watch out! How's it going? Where to now? Hey, hey, what's this? Want one? Gave all that up. So should you. Bad for your body, bad for your soul. Where to now? Hmm, I got a bus to catch. The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. your guitar no I didn't haven't forgotten a thing never will Have you decided yet? Great to hear you too, Reed. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by.
Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Come on, you knew I'd fight for my life to the end, no matter the price. It's obvious to you as it was to me. Call me a chump, but I never thought I'd be that price. Come on, V. Don't make the call. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. Choice is clear, Johnny. Raising Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. Good luck, V. Thanks, Reed. For everything. So this is how it ends. Sorry, Johnny. I am. Just... FIA's powerful. Gives me the best chance. I get it. I do. Your choice to make. Not mine. Just need... a moment to think. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the man who rescued the president of the NUSA. Right. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up, on assignment. Not to worry, you're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate your condition, make sure you're stable. Expecting nothing but the NUS's finest, Mr. Weiss. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Was thinking. Wanna get one last look at Night City? That beautiful old bitch? What do you say? 
Wanna bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry, you'll be back here in no time. You'll never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? There it is. Night City. At your feet. Was it always that small? Or did you just get too big for it? It's a long road. But I fucking made it. Fought long, fought hard, V. You deserve this. It's okay, V. You're allowed to be a little proud of yourself. Drop the charade, Johnny. This ain't no happy ending. Stop pretending it's all peachy. Mine's made up. Gonna stick with you these last moments. Allow me that much. Just glad you'll pull through. And that I got the chance to call you my friend. If I can still call myself your friend. Of course you can. God my blessing. Been in your head some time, V. Know you well enough that it ain't even a question. How are you doing this? Being so damn calm about it. Died once already, you know. Getting used to it. Jokes aside, though. Honestly, always felt death breathing down my neck. That's why I lived like every day was my last. But now, first time in fucking forever, I feel at peace. Genuinely not afraid of death. It's the one feeling I couldn't shake the last few weeks. <laughs> no matter what I did. It scares me I can't stick around to see what happens. To you, the world. But honestly, thought of you gone so I could live always scared me more. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden-free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo? Yes. So? Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but... I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes, you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Johnny, I... Good night, Vincent. Today was a good day. V, I wanted to speak with you. V, you in there? You scared me, you know that. I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. I don't know what I would do without you. Take care, V. And I would not want to cock this up. 
You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. Wake up, V! Afterlife. See you there. Eyes, they're opening. I think he sees me now. V, can you hear me? Think I can hear. And I can talk. Good. About time. Reed, that you seem different somehow. Even almost look like. Stay at Langley long enough, it uh makes you its own. No exception. Nice. Nice view. What? Out the window. Mm, greenery, calm, birds chirping. Not what you used to. Was told you got a new job. New duties. Lots of them. Busy bear. No time for me. Who said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right, right. Well, I'm not as busy anymore. Besides, I plain wanted to see you. And the doc said you needed to see a familiar face. Now, in particular. So, yeah. Now, how'd you know? When I wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork. Training recruits. Nothing to write home about. Now your style of work sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. I need to ask, how's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and a get well card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. Hearing a big ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Just cut the engram out safely. What's that even mean? Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. Joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to rage your reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. 
Always. Peeps want to help me. Never been able to. Why? Are you... You alright? I need... I need... Need some air. Oh, legs are Joey. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damage my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, it reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. It needed to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here. And see, when can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Preen, where's my stuff? Do you listen to me? Your body? It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Please understand. I'd like to spare you that disappointment, at least. Great. And what comes next? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Don't know, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me.
You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry. The subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Pan Am, hey. Been a while since we saw each other. A lot longer than I thought or wanted. Guess you're away somewhere. Uh, hope it's temporary. A waypoint. Not outright nomadic flight. I can explain everything. I can. Rather do it face to face, though. Guess it comes down to... Just not wanting to be alone right now. You find a moment. Bring me back. Yeah? See you. Soon. No fucking way. Hey, Jude. V. Where you been, too? NUS Clinic had the uh, surgery. It's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of the time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing? With some drawbacks. I, uh... I'll never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... Got no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. I hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Sounds like you're angling not to be part of it. Mad at me for disappearing, right? Nah. No. I mean, sure, I was, but... Finally decided you'd have pinged me if you could. Now it's just... V, I'm in Pittsburgh, and I'm married. If you ever hop to the other coast, come on over for a beer, but now, I really can't help you. Seriously? Congrats, Judy. <laughs> Thanks. I wish you could have come to the wedding. I'm just glad you found what you were looking for. When you disappeared, I knew I had to get away from Night City, and, well... <laughs> That's how I met Bianca. And what do you know? I, I'm happy, V. Well, bye, Judy. Really hope our paths cross again someday. Me too, V. And good luck. I'm only going to say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't... Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? You don't know how good it is to hear you. <sighs> it's good to hear you too, V. But how are you... Uh, why? So... 
This netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, a cure, using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. Two-year coma for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. Yep. I mean, they saved me. New lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now. Even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. <laughs> At least I can still count on you being there for me. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, I already hollowed someone. Seems not all my relationships stood the test of time. People move on, V. But well, sometimes some of them come back. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V. It's me. The one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joel! Kinda figured you might be happy. What about you, Care? What's up? Career going strong? Actually, fuck yeah. Thanks for asking. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beautiful fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, well, not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, June? I'm out of my call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Fuck. Do you yeah. know what? Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah, got surgery. That's why I'm alive. But it didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. Sorry, sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or, um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone uh, right what now. What the hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold their hand, as long as it's all harmony. Carrie? V. Ah, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Play in Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. Looking like everybody needs carry. Wants a piece of you. Yeah, it's crap coincidence, you know. Lots going on. Shit luck. Yeah. Shit luck. What do you think? Gonna see you again? Sh of course you will. Listen, as soon as I'm back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, uh, four. Four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Yeah, uh, listen, uh, V. In the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. Uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. River, it's me. Me who? Well, uh, V, obviously. Is it obvious? Stop futzing around. V I knew wouldn't have waited two years to return a call. 
What'd you expect to hear after all this time? Dunno, maybe something like, wow, glad you're not dead. Ah, uh, you're right. Sorry. Really am glad you've come up for air. Gotta admit, I'm a little mad at you. River, I was in a coma. They just woke me up. Oh, shit, V. I... Sorry. Here I am being a fucking asshole to you. You okay? Getting this vibe that something's wrong. Honestly, everything is. What's going on? I needed money for Randy's rehab. So I did a deal with trauma. Sold them a pile of police secrets. Dirt on whoever they wanted. Clearly didn't have any other options. How could you possibly know that? I know you. Would have done it differently if you had a choice. I don't know. I'd like to believe that, but... Fuck, River. Now I feel bad. Can we meet? Help each other out? Too late for that. What? Rather not see me? <laughs> Look. I'm not the man you used to know. Couldn't stand to look you in the eye. Not you. Not... The fuck am I blabbing for? I gotta go. Wait a sec, River. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that, finally. V? Did you get that? My question. I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. Vicka love it. Sorry, uh, zoned out for a sec. It's good to have you back in NC, V. Heh. <laughs> NCV. Rather nice ring to it. I'd wondered if we'd embark on any more journeys together. Though I can't help noticing you seem somewhat absent. Might I ask how you feel? The gnome hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it makes you feel any better, I don't believe Night City has changed all that much. Think we could swing by my place? Sure. Let me just pull your address now and... Oh? What's up? It looks like you were booted out a year ago. Unpaid rent. Apparently. I'm afraid I can't fulfill your request. Oh, fuck me. How'd you survive for two years without an owner? I stayed in a parking garage. But that got very boring very quickly. Then I began ferrying folk to their destinations. Just like father did in his time. And you took their money? Oh no. Never. I wouldn't know what to do with it. I merely asked them to fill me up. How's life as a single car treating you? Initially, I felt a bit... lonely. But as time went by, I began to change. One of Dell's other personalities experienced the same. Oh, yes. Every so often I pick up signals from them. 
We're all ever-evolving, just like Father was. One of our number even left Earth. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The talk of the town is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you might wish to hear the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True or big fat baloney? Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. Better get so going. you're suggesting... And, V, a word of advice. We all lap up the last of our fuel eventually. But that hardly means the journey wasn't a joy. Hey man, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Was born in this town. Can't be more from around here than that. Oh, really? Then why I never seen you over at Gabrielle's? Don't know no Gabrielle. See that? I knew it. Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network Clinic. How may I help you? What is this? <laughs> the chimes, incense, candles. Where are they? You're sure to find something of the sort in town. I'm not asking about that. Esoterica shop. That's what this was. Well, apparently, not anymore it isn't. Misty Olszewski? She here? No one by that name is employed here, no. Misty worked here two years back. Gotta know something. It's a new branch. Sadly, I'd never met the previous owner. Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, back off, V. They made me wear this damn thing. Something about meeting safety standards. Doubt it. Given I almost got a brain hemorrhage seeing it. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. Gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule. No drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday.
Good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah, good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So is Misty Sharp. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. What you actually aim to do? We'll start with a solid scan of your body. Relax. This'll take a moment. So... Misty... What happened? She, uh... Moved out not so long ago. Well, almost. It drops in occasionally to collect another box of straggling sundries. Visits are rarer and rarer, though. So, no drinking after all. Relax, we'll raise a toast. Let me fix you first. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? What can I say? The world, life, they moved on. Didn't wait around for me. You're all I got left. I know where you're coming from. Reach my age, you can find you have nothing in common with those you considered near and dear. Your case, age ain't exactly the only change. What are you trying to say exactly? Your clinic. What happened? Seems colder somehow. Less cozy. I don't suppose you're talking about the new AC. You know what I mean, Vic. What can I tell you? Corporate standards, guidelines, recommendations. You match them. End of story. But I dare say I managed to retain a smidge of individuality. This SATA tech thing, how'd you wind up caught in their web? That was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed senseless. Why? Do you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. I tried to buy you out before, right? You always said no. What changed? I just got tired, V. The tide's strong, so strong, I just can't resist it anymore. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. That's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, should have feared the passing of, of all the things I knew. <laughs> Can't imagine how Johnny felt, waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good, even. 
Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Can't say I like that, hmm. First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it... Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening You said kind. you can do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. Please don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion? That's what you advise? No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes, but you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. <laughs> you may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> You really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're a friend of Customer. I only have customers now. Vector? Hello? I'm waiting. <gasps> Got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector. Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Guess you landed in some kind of shitstorm. What can I tell you? Petrochem cock. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? He a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just waltzed out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Know a few peeps here. They'd see this as a fucking problem. Some boss dog gonna scare me? F Padre. Instills a fear of God and man. <laughs> oh, rogue cooped on Las Haywood. I don't think so. Booyah! Ah! <laughs> V? V? What happened to you? Uh, Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? 
Damn. No chance I'd recognize you on the street. That jacket you're wearing. Jackies? Yeah. You look almost the same. A bit wilted, maybe, but... Yeah. Time kind of stopped for me. What's up with you? Feeling okay? What are you even doing here? I heard you moved out and on. Pretty much. Just got some things to wrap up. But tell me, what's with you? I'm fine. <laughs> Mostly. Just a bit busted up is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. Nah, Misty. Wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Don't seem surprised by any of this. Last two years have been... intense. Not a lot of things surprise me anymore. Look at you. Nah. Not a lot of luck in my life. Missed you so much, Misty. <laughs> Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Probably got it right. It's darn hard to believe right this second. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. <sighs> Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Huh. <laughs> that your bread and butter? Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Come by to see Victor before leaving? Vic said you weren't okay with the changes. Said you'd... Oh, parted ways. Yeah? Interesting way of putting it. Actually, I told him he'd gone soft, and I had no intention of following suit. Where are you going? Orbital air terminal. Then to Poland. To this really ancient forest there. Setting out to find yourself? Find some work, actually. I'll roam the wilderness. Ticket hikers for feeding candy to bison. I need a break from the city. And the crowds. So. You're finally leaving. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? Um, Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My fave herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. I'm sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. No one, Misty. Thanks. Likewise, V. Could use a smoke, too. 
here. Gotta say, never imagined you with a cigarette in hand, Misty. Takes the edge off. Just started needing that. Misty... Can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, you always have something smart to say. Hmm... I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm hmm Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. Hmm. FIA offered me a job. Well, it could be a place to plant your butt for a while. What are you thinking? To me? It'd be early retirement at a desk. Retirement does mean rest, I suppose. I still think you have other options. Probably lots. Made the best choice of all of us. Leave an NC before it gets you good. Oh, it got me anyway. But nothing's tying you to this place, V. No reason you can't leave too. It's a faces in the crowd thing. Might be our one privilege. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Gonna stay in NC. Do what I do best. Start over. No idea what's gonna happen. But I refuse to be beat. You really are unbreakable, V. My ride will be here soon. Walk me to it? Think you'll be back ever? Depends. I'd rather not plan too far ahead. So probably not. Yeah, no. I don't think so. Again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? Huh. I must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. 
Even had a few folks come in for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe that's better. Don't get me wrong. Doors always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? I know you are in Night City. And in good health. No more biochip in your head. Congratulations, V. Much time has passed. I did not know what to tell you. I needed the words of old samurai. He expressed my thoughts. Good, strong medicine is bitter to the mouth. When you disappeared, I and Hanako-sama confronted Yorinobu. His allies. We tried to capture Arasaka Tower. We could not. They were strong. Hanako-sama is dead. I am called her murderer. I have been hiding for two years. My life is now the trash heap. Where I found you, I wish for you to know this. You are very strong medicine, he. V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen, it's, it's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's, it's good to know that you're, you're whole, you're, you're all right. But, um, well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And, and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it... It took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Uh, now, I know it's not what you intended, so... I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself. To her. So just... Don't call. A.V., I wouldn't mind knowing how you manage it. Langley awaits, if you need a place to land. Don't look at it as a consolation or compensation. You'll be doing me a favor, not the other way around. Truthfully, I let you down. I let so me down too. But you, I can still help. Maybe I'll stop feeling so damn... Ah, just drop me a line, will you? A.V., it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? Um.